So that there, that's waiting leader 62. And yeah, that's his compound. That I was sneaking around outside of. It's also where he bases with at least six other players. Similarly geared, this was the kind of clan that would run around with rocket launchers on their backs, even when they weren't going to raid anyone. You know the type. And yeah, you probably guessed it. I'd built just around the corner, unknowing to the epic compound base that lay nearby. This is the story of a solo Rust player's struggle to survive in a server dominated by clans. And when survival from pure gunpower is at defeat, us solo players turn to the much sneakier tactics. And sometimes they pay off big. Oh shit. Okay, this is a uh, brand new, brand new server for me. It's a monthly server, which I haven't played before, so I have no blueprints. And it's like a couple weeks into the wipe. So people are gonna be pretty established. There's gonna be lots of big bases, lots of clan compounds around. And we're just gonna get started as a little solo boy and see if we can go and cause some trouble. And this is where it begins. <laughs> So I'm thinking I should be able to find a decaying base that I can take over. So I don't need to grind too much. Hopefully I can find a, a base that has like a tier 2 or a tier 3 workbench already in it. So I can bypass that whole scrap grinding process. And I kind of like this area, I think. Like down south near airfield. I think there's lots of nodes around this uh, desert biome. Near outpost as well. Man, it takes so long. Hurry up! If that lands on that base, I swear to god, I'm gonna cry. I'm actually gonna cry. What? <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> so good. Uh, okay, well that's... That's pretty good. No way, dude. That's nuts. That's actually so good. And exploit ammo? Holy... Okay, we gotta find a, like, a base. I'm so surprised that no one went for that. Like I said, there's actually, there's still more than half players in this lobby. Maybe everyone's already kitted. Everyone already has as many guns as they, as their little hearts desire. Well, that's a big compound. Hmm. I mean, that's going to be everywhere. With how late I am to this wipe, that's going to be like everywhere. Holy. See a dude up the hill there. Oh God, there's someone coming for me too. Oh god, they're like ants. They're everywhere. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, shit. I just gotta run, man. Let's get out of here. Oh, I'm excited. I feel like there's gonna be so many opportunities to take advantage of poorly designed massive bases. Yeah, this is this is the spot. This is where we're gonna where we're gonna get started. Alright, let's go. Let's do it. Imagine having a custom SMG and a pumpy and farming with a rock. And then I saw it. A rock formation. It was beautiful, man. I just couldn't pass up the opportunity to build here. What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? I see. We have a neighbor. I feel like I should be friendly with this guy. Be our best. So, I chose the path of friendship. Rather than destroying this little naked's rust life, I showed him mercy. And, very soon after, I regretted my decision. Wow. Okay. You see what happens when you show a little bit of mercy in this game. And yeah, I had no choice but to raid him. But we're getting sidetracked. Later that day, I was out roaming when I first encountered the clan base. Oh, that looks like an active base down there. 
I didn't know that they'd be trouble just yet, but either way, I knew I needed some gun power, so I tried pushing a few airdrops. He can have the airdrop. I'm getting away with the double barrel and the pipey. And the pistol. You can have it. <laughs> you can have it, mate. All the best. All the best to you. <laughs> oh, that's so close. <laughs> Why does it keep dropping right next to me? I'm gonna let this dude get lit up by the scientist. So this is where the story really begins. My first encounter with Waiting Leader 62. At this stage, I was nothing more than a pest with a bow, two body shots and a headshot, and he just brushed it off like it was nothing. If only he knew how far I'd come with the bow. <sighs> but soon after, as I went back to loot my remains, I noticed a shotgun raid happening at the base between my rock base and the clan compound. I knew it had to be them, so I went to throw a spanner in the works. That is the perfect frag opportunity, man. Ah, <laughs> oh, do I use the Thompson? I feel like, I feel like I should. Fuck it. Fuck yeah, dude. Well, I, I dare say I need to upgrade my base a little bit now. <laughs> I don't think those guys are going to be happy about that. <laughs> what a cheeky boy. And if there's one thing that I'm good at in this game, it's farming up an absolute storm. So upgrade my base, I did. Damn, he headshot me, man. Like, instantly. <laughs> Cowslayer. What's his name? <laughs> Let's see how fast he comes back. Oh, here they come. Here come the boys.
going. Hit him. Hit it. Let's go. Cow Slayer. Okay. Oh shit. It's it's starting. What is this guy done? Uh okay. <laughs> he crashed. Oh shit, okay, there's there's a couple. <laughs> oh god, what have I done? I feel like they're gonna find me pretty fast. <laughs> and that's gonna be the end. Yeah, these guys are gonna want me gone so fast. <laughs> and yeah, within minutes there were footsteps outside my base. This was bad news. This could be the end. <laughs> this could be the end. <laughs> oh no. Not like this. <laughs> oh my god, man. Uh, it didn't take me long. It didn't take me long to piss off a clan. I'll tell you that. And just like that, they left. I knew they'd be getting ready to raid me. So I upgraded my base to high quality metal and sheet metal in anticipation. And then I waited and waited and waited, but nothing. And it was late for me. So I had to log off for the night, certain that the next time I logged on, my base would be in ruins. To my pleasant surprise, I woke up the next day and I wasn't raided. Well, at least I thought I wasn't until I went upstairs. Oh shit. <laughs> what? They actually tried to raid me. Oh man. <laughs> they only got through, what, two sheet metal doors. Two sheet metal doors and a garage door. That's all they got. Wow. And then they gave up. Well, before we go anywhere, let's uh, whack, whack some doors back on. Man, that's funny. I was wondering, like, I was so surprised that they hadn't raided me yet. The plan for the next day was to do some component runs. And I found this abandoned base right next to the launch site. So I took it over to make the process more efficient. By this stage, I'd started to gather a decent amount of gunpowder, but didn't have the explosive blueprints that I needed to try and raid the clan compound. But the more that I roamed the map, the more I realized that these guys were everywhere. This happened over by Dome, the opposite side of the map. And I'd soon find out that even my new base at launch was within their sight. that dude from that clan base <laughs> no way <laughs> holy shit uh oh this is bad this is really bad oh my god You down? Oh, I did down him. Nice. This is invisible. Waiting leader. Hello. 
Hello, mate. Rye Venus. Okay, he is with them. I see. I see. Well, this is good because this is gonna like this is gonna confuse them. I'll need to make sure I get this, get the loot out of this base like pretty quickly. I don't think they're gonna. Mm, I mean, I don't think they're gonna raid it. After that, I got a bit overconfident and lost some loot sets to these guys trying to door camp their outer wall. But I noticed that they'd started running in numbers, supposedly due to losing a few too many gear sets to me when they were alone. Fuck's sake, there's so many of them, dude. What's going on over there? That's like, it sounded like an auto turret. As far as I'm aware, there's no bases over there that have auto turrets. So let's go suss it out. Oh, hello. They had to be raiding, and I was going to counter it, so I spawned back at base and headed over. Sadly, however, my hard drive ran out of space just as I went to counter, so unfortunately I can't show this to you guys, but I had managed to kill two of them. There were at least three, and I'd potatoed on the third guy. By the time I ran back over, they'd secured the raid, and to my surprise, it was them. It was the clan from the compound. I was amazed that they'd spared me to raid an offline base that hadn't been active for at least a few days. It just didn't make any sense to me. But anyway, I was tilted after losing more kits to these guys and watching them shoot my dead corpse. I knew that it was time for some sneaky revenge. And oh boy, did we get some revenge. Now you might be wondering what my weapon of choice would be to strike such an epic revenge against a group that I was clearly outgunned by. An AK? Nah, it couldn't be an AK. It must be a, a rocket launcher. Oh yeah. But no, no, it wasn't a rocket launcher. Remember mate, I'm a solo scrub and I couldn't find the blueprints I needed for raiding. No, my weapon of choice was the humble blueprint. Earlier on while scoping out the compound, I noticed that their tool cupboard coverage was mediocre at best, and all five of their large furnaces were running. Oh my God, yeah, dude. five. A slight issue though, they were online and roof camping at the time. This was my chance. He'd either crashed or I'd knocked him on the roof. So I built as quickly as I could. I knew one of the other clan members wouldn't be far off, so the window of opportunity was narrow. Oh, oh my god.
<laughs> oh my god, dude. What? Oh my god. No way! <laughs> they literally had... What, like... Oh my... Jesus Christ. They had like 10k sulfur. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh man. Wow, man. That is so much freaking sulfur. Oh, they're gonna be so pissed. That was a lot of excitement for me. And I was tired. So I crafted up a bunch of gunpowder and logged for the night. Uh, yeah, I've been raided. I knew, I knew that I was going to be raided. Like, ah, oh man, that's a pretty good raid for them. Because I had like two rows of gunpowder. So yeah, I was raided by a different clan before I got to do any official raiding of my own. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's pretty raided. My base. <laughs> my beautiful base. But overall, I chalk this one down to a win for the little guys. Although as a solo, you might not always win the fight, you can cause some trouble and have a ball along the way. Maybe if I had some blueprints, things would have been different. But until next time, thanks for watching.